We all want to get things done and be efficient at doing it. You know, we don't want to just keep things in our heads all the time. We want to actually make things happen in the physical world. A lot of us get stuck, though, in our heads, and we don't really know how to make things happen. And we're all guilty of this to some degree. Sometimes we figure out solutions, but other times we just remain stuck. And I've noticed that for most situations, just getting started is always the most difficult part of any project. So just for an example, if you're trying to save for retirement, those first few times that you make a deposit are like by far the most difficult. After a few deposits, you get into a little bit of a rhythm. And before you know it, a year or two passes and you've been really contributing on a regular basis and you can get into a habit of doing things and it's a lot easier. But then there's other situations though that there's just not an understanding of how things work. And in that situation or in those situations, it's good to reach out and ask for help uh, and also leverage your time and resources because maybe you just don't have enough time in the day to solve a certain problem. But maybe you know other people that have solved the problem before you might want to simply just go to them and ask, you know, for some help. Also, when we're making a plan, a roadmap to kind of figure things out, I like to take big problems and make them a an assortment of smaller problems or sub problems and just break down the problem so it's easier to manage. As well as sometimes reverse engineering the problem and starting at the result. Uh, versus starting at this first step is easier for a lot of people to figure out what they need to do uh, to actually get the results they want. Uh, some people just don't know how and they're planning to even start the project. And that's like one of the biggest problems across the board you want to avoid because you don't want to get stuck before you even begin. I also want to say that there is something that's very important that we cannot overlook when we're looking at trying to get things done in life. And that is we need to make sure we set enough time aside to do it and to have proper attention. A lot of times we don't give enough effort and we wonder why things don't ever pan out because we don't re research the thing. We don't require a lot from ourselves or others. A lot of times we just kind of randomly uh, just fall into things and fall out of things. And then we wonder once again why nothing gets done. So we need to commit ourselves. We need to be focused on what we're doing. We need to have energy set aside so we can do it. And we need to actually, once again, uh, look at all of our options. And that includes asking other people that have solved the problem before how they may have went about doing it. And so these are all very somewhat common sense things, but a lot of people don't know what to do and how to get things done in the real world. <laughs> When I was younger, I can remember as a very small child memories of how simple the world was around me and how things were so mysterious. And you can probably remember some of those times, too, if you just take a moment and think back when you were a young child. And those memories are so important because having a sense of mystery and awe about the world we live in allowed us to get that motivation to explore and so don't ever lose that motivation. Don't forget about all of the wonderful possibilities that life can offer. But if we don't seek them out sometimes, they're not going to just be. Sometimes we actually have to build and construct the world that we want to be in. And so take a moment and figure out what you want. And from there, you can figure out how to do it. As always, you guys take care.